alrighty guys welcome back to another video and just a warning it is 1 18 a.m. and I was bored so I decided you know what might as well make some videos so if I'm a little groggy or anything like that um, I'm just gonna blame it on that so yeah okay let's refocus here in this video we're gonna be learning about list views and that is this thing right here so what is a list view well Obviously, it's a cool type of widget where you can make a list out of. All right, boring, Bucky. Moving on to the next video. Wait just a second, Haas, because it's more than just a way to make something like a text list, like a grocery list or a list of your favorite movies. What you can also do with the list view, and you guys have used this on every single social networking app. If you ever use um, like Facebook or Instagram or Google Plus or even Twitter, you know how each of the tweets or each of everyone's post is in a big it's either like a feed or a stream or something and you can just scroll down forever each of those items are list items so here's mine the new Boston app we're making right now so here you see one post right here and of course what you could do on this activity is you can just scroll down forever and ever and ever and each of these posts is actually a list item so yes you can have a very simple list where you just have text like a grocery list but you can also have list of entire posts with pictures text embedded pictures images very very cool so again in this tutorial what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys the real basics the structure of how you create a list and then in the next tutorial I'm going to show you guys how to create custom list items if you ever want to make like a social networking app or a news feed or anything like that so let's go ahead and get started what I did already is I created a blank project just added one blank activity you know nothing new so the first thing I want to do is in my activity main hop over to the source code view and get rid of that text view because I hate it now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a list view in here and again remember I said if you want to do it with a design mode just scroll down and drag one of these bad boys on there but for the width I'm just gonna hit match parent and for the height I'm also gonna throw in match parent and this is just because I want my list to pretty much take up the whole screen since that's the only thing we're learning in this tutorial so you know I don't need to do anything weird with it I can just fill it to the size of the parent and actually the one other thing I want to do is let me give myself a little more room here so make sure your list view selected and of course we're gonna need a way to reference it through our code so give it an ID I'm just gonna name mine Bucky's list view and hit enter now another thing I want to point out is whenever you add a list view to the screen you're gonna see these default list items but this is just for pretty much whenever you're designing it you can see okay there's going to be a list in here whenever you actually run your app you're not going to see this you know all this text and stuff this is just for you know designing like I said so actually whenever you run your app we're going to be adding all of the items manually through Java code so let's go ahead and do that right now so hop over to your main activity.java and the first thing I need to do is import a bunch of stuff but instead of you just watching me do it I'm gonna go ahead and copy it real quick and I probably should mention this as well if you want any of the source code then of course it's all on my forum so if you don't feel like you know watching me or copying me import everything then you can just go to my forum grab the code and paste it in so that's what I'm gonna do right now so one second Alrighty, so let me paste that in right there and tighten all of this stuff up. Alright, so the first thing I actually want to do is fix all of these errors. And for the action bar activity, this of course means that you want an action bar across the top of your app. I actually just want to inherit from activity because I'm not really worried about that action bar for this tutorial. This tutorial is going to be a very stripped down app just to demonstrate lists like I said so therefore we can delete these two override methods so the only thing we have is on create essentially whenever your activity gets created 
what do you want to happen? And we're just going to focus on the list stuff for right now. So after your set content view, which pretty much sets your your view to whatever this layout is, let's go ahead and add some code under here. So like I said, for the very first tutorial before you get into making like any cool streams or anything like this, we're just going to make a very basic list of text items. So whenever we want a list of text items, what we can do is we can just make an array because you know that's what lists are. And I'm just going to make mine of foods, but you can you can use like names, items, um, girls you want to date, whatever. I'm just going to throw like five or six in here. Bacon, ham. These are also going to be my kids' names whenever I have kids. Baby tuna, candy. Let me add like two more. Um, I'm going to have a kid who's a bit of a chunker his name is gonna be meatball and I'm also gonna have a kid named potato he's probably gonna look like me alright so again once you have something that you can create a list of go ahead to the next line of code and now we need to understand one important concept so as I told you guys a list can be multiple things it can be just plain text like we have right here it can also be images it can also be a combination of images and text so these list items are kind of a weird thing so what we need to do is we have a little trouble just taking a list of strings in Java and turning them directly into list items so in order to do that we need something called an adapter now this adapter is going to resp be responsible for the conversion of Java code to list items that your activity can use. So again, I'm going to show you guys how to make a real basic adapter right now just for text or strings, and that's this. If you go to list adapter, I mean, you can name it anything you want, Bucky's adapter. And you need to set this equal to 